Okay, you're here to check out questions 18 to 24 from section 1.3, 0 and negative exponents. For question 18, you're asked to simplify each of these, and we can see that for a, we have a plus b is the base, and we're raising it to the power of 0. Any base raised to the power of 0 is 1. For b, we have a plus b to the power of 0. So the base here is just b being raised to the power of 0. The a has not changed, so we have a plus 1. For c, we have a to the power of 0 plus b to the power of 0. So a to the power of 0 is 1, and b to the power of 0 is also 1, which gives us 2. For d, you can see again here the base is a times b, and that whole thing is being raised to the power of 0, so we get 1. And for e, we have the negative of a to the power of 0. So the base here is just a being raised to the power of 0. So we have the negative of a to the power of 0, which is 1, negative 1. Question number 19, explain why negative 8 to the power of 0 and the negative, or sorry, and negative 8 to the power of 0 have different values. So this first one here, I should have read as the negative of 8 to the power of 0. So there's kind of like a negative 1 times 8 to the power of 0, and 8 to the power of 0 is 1, so negative 1 times 1 is just negative 1. On the right here we have negative 8 as the base being raised to the power of 0, so the whole thing is just 1. So this guy here on the left, the 8 is the base, and on the right the negative 8 is the base. For question number 20, evaluate 3 to the power of negative 2 without using a calculator. Hmm, I don't really know what this means exactly, but I know that I can rewrite this as 1 over 3 squared. And I know that 3 squared is the same as 9. So if I can rewrite this power and change it to ha from a negative exponent to a positive exponent, I can then evaluate it more easily and understand what it's representing. 21. Which power with a negative exponent is equal to 1 over 125? Okay, well, if I want to rewrite this with a negative exponent, I first need to figure out which, what's the power that's being represented here. So I want to try and rewrite 125 as a power. I'm going to take a guess that it's maybe, a, it, I see a 5 at the end, so maybe I can rewrite this using 5 as the base. So 125 must be equal to 5 times 5 is 25, and we multiply that by 5 again, we get 125. Okay, so I can now see that 125 is equivalent to 5 to the power of 3. And if I want to rewrite that with a negative exponent, I know that I move it up to the numerator, switch the sign of the exponent only, not the base. Number 22, given that 6 to the power of 10 is equal to 6,046,000, oh that's off, 60,466,176. What is 6 to the power of negative 10? Well, how should we approach this question here? Knowing that we're looking for a 6 to the power of negative 10, I know that that is equivalent to 1 over 6 to the power of 10. And since how I know what 6 to the power of 10 is, I could rewrite that as 1 over 60,466,176. So 6 to the power of negative 10 is equivalent to 1 over that value. And for 23, we're asked to evaluate negative 4 to the power of negative 3. So the base here is negative 4. So I'm going to rewrite this question as 1 over negative 4. The base stays the same. The exponent changes sign and becomes a positive 3. So it's 1 over negative 4 to the power of 3. Questions asking me to evaluate, so expand or simplify these exponents. So negative 4 to the power of 3 is negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. And 
that gives me negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Positive 16 times negative 4 is negative 64. And there you have it.